Welcome back to our channel, Arsenal Fans. We have some thrilling news to share with you in today's exciting video. Newcastle launch bid to sign exciting Arsenal talent. £60 million player could snub Arsenal and join Aston Villa. Bukayo Soccer took a lie detector test. And many other Arsenal news. So, sit back and let's dive into the world of Arsenal. Crystal Palace star Michael Olise as one of the most exciting players in the Premier League. The Frenchman has had an amazing season. His brace against Manchester United on Monday has taken his tally up to nine goals and four assists in just 1,100 minutes of football. That is a very good return, which is why Olise is expected to be a wanted man in the upcoming summer transfer window. The report claims that Aston Villa are now confident of signing the 22-year-old ahead of Arsenal. It's claimed that Olise wants Champions League football next season and also a regular place in the starting 11. Olise knows that he will not be starting at Arsenal because Bukayo Saka plays on the right wing, while Odegaard owns the creative 10 role at the Emirates. Arsenal defender says he is confident of taking three points from Old Trafford this weekend. Out to centre-backs, Gabby and William Saliba are so consistent, and so is Ben White as well, Tomiyasu said. Obviously, it won't be an easy game because it is a tough place to play and take three points. But we are confident and we will be there to get three points. We have had a lot of clean sheets because of them. I want to be part of that defense. We will try to get another clean sheet at Old Trafford as well. It's reported that Arsenal are being tipped to land one of Real Sociedad's key assets this summer. The Gunners will again be looking to bolster their ranks after impressive showings in the Premier League and the UEFA Champions League this year. According to reports from Sports Witness, it is 25-year-old Martin Zubimendi who is continuing to catch Arsenal's eye. The Spain international has featured heavily for La Real this season and has four goals and one assist to his name in all competitions. Capable of playing in a variety of different roles in midfield, Zubamendi has remained relatively quiet on whether he wishes to remain in Spain, with his contract set to expire in 2027. Kindly like our channels so that we can reach other Arsenal fans. Thank you. It's reported that Arsenal and Chelsea are in a transfer race to sign a 17-year-old, dubbed Little Messi. Chelsea have entered the race to sign 17-year-old Palmeiras forward Estevão William, who is also pulling interest from Arsenal. Palmeiras want at least £26 million up front for the player, who is nicknamed Messinho, which means Little Messi in Portuguese. According to our sources, the talented Bukayo Saka took a lie detector test recently to know how much he knows about his teammates. There's no question about Bukayo Saka's abilities on the field, but how much does he tell the truth about his teammates? To find out, Premier League TV recently hooked our winger up to a polygraph test to find out the real answers about how he feels about himself and his teammates under the watchful eye of a detective who had previously worked for the CIA. Bukayo was forced to dish the dirt on his teammates and answer honestly about whether he has the best fashion sense, if he's the most intelligent in our dressing room, and if anyone is worse than him at golf. Arsenal defender Tokohiro Tomiyasu appears, set to hand Mikel Arteta a fitness boost ahead of Sunday's Premier League showdown against Manchester United. The Japan international caused a measure of concern this week, when he was reported to be the only first-team player to have missed Tuesday's training session. Tomiyasu, having regained full fitness, has played an increasingly prominent role in recent weeks, usurping Jakob Kiwia and Oleksandr Zinchenko as his manager's first choice left back. Tomiyasu is being nursed through the last few weeks of the season and is understood to have trained indoors in order to manage his workload. Arsenal still have a Mario Cozier Dewberry contract hopes as transfer interest builds. Arsenal winger Amario Cozier Dewberry is yet to agree contract terms with any club and is currently considering his options amid interest from sides around Europe. Arsenal want to keep the winger, who was nominated for the Premier League 2 Player of the Month award for April, and have held talks over a new contract, while several European clubs have also approached the exciting England U19 international. The 18-year-old is into the final two months of his current Gunners deal and is being tracked by several clubs ahead of the summer transfer window. It's reported that Arsenal's solid defender, Tokehiro Tomiyasu, is determined to put injury crises behind him for Arsenal's title run-in. The Japan international returned from the Asian Cup at the start of February with a calf problem and he was unable to start a game for Arsenal until the middle of last month. 
The Gunners have been carefully managing Tomiyasu's workload to keep him fit and he trained indoors on Tuesday ahead of Sunday's trip to Old Trafford. Newcastle launch bid to sign exciting Arsenal talent, according to Fabrizio Romano. Fabrizio Romano has revealed that Newcastle are attempting to sign highly rated Arsenal talent Amario Cozier Dewberry. With the winger out of contract this summer, Romano reports that the club have submitted a proposal to offer the teenager an end-of-season move to Tyneside. It's not a done deal yet, as Arsenal are still in talks over a new contract, while several European clubs have also approached the exciting England U19 international. Arteta speaking in an interview recently had this to say about our season and the journey to winning. This week, Mikel Arteta sat down at Soba Realty Training Center to reflect on the season so far, his mindset with two big games to go, and what winning the Premier League would mean to him. My thoughts are that we are right in it with two games to go. We need to do what we have to do. We need to go to Old Trafford well and perform really well to earn the right to win the game. And if we do that, we're going to be another step closer. But there's still a lot to do. Red Hot striker Victor Gukiers has opened up on his future after strong links with a move to Arsenal this summer. Despite media outlets claiming that the 26-year-old center forward is desperate to join the Gunners before the start of next season, but the former Coventry City striker has left the door open when he made this comment after they won the Portuguese league this season. It's football. I can't promise anything. I have a contract and I won't be sad if I stay. I'm very happy, but we'll see what happens. According to Turkish football reporter Devrim Zendu Ferdi, Kadi Oglu has agreed to join Arsenal. The respected media personality in Turkey actually spoke to the player's father about rumors linking his son with a move to the Emirates Stadium. Another Turkish journalist, Ir Sapunkulu, claimed that Arsenal are planning to submit a £26 million bid for Kadi Oglu, a player who has been compared to Dario Kanselek. A report from Gidna Sport claims that Arsenal boss would be happy to let both Thomas Partey and Gabriel Jesus depart for the right price, and Saudi Arabia could be a viable destination for the pair. While Arsenal are not actively trying to get both players off their books, they also not will not turn down big money offers, and the Saudi Pro League giants are supposedly considering approaches, Partey is seemingly the likeliest to leave at this juncture, as his deal only runs until the end of next season and the Gunners are expected wow. to tie Jurgen Ho down to fresh terms while also pursuing another defensive midfielder. Arsenal midfielder Georgino is now set to be offered a new contract at the Emirates Stadium. The Athletics' David Ornstein broke the news hours ago. The Italian international has become a key player for the Gunners this season. With the absence of Thomas Partey, with the Gunners competing in multiple competitions, having a player capable of stepping in when required will be invaluable. Mikkel Arteta is 100% confident that his Arsenal players are ready to fight for the Premier League title until the final whistle. The Gunners have just three games left. Starting this Saturday lunchtime when Bournemouth visits the Emirates Stadium, that will be followed by a trip to Manchester United on the penultimate weekend of the season before the North Londoners end their campaign at home against Everton. Arteta knows that only perfection from here on in would do. And even then Arsenal still have to hope that Manchester City would draw points somewhere along the way. Declan Rice says a move to Arsenal seemed more exciting than Manchester City as the two clubs battled to become Premier League champions. Arsenal and Man City were both desperate to sign Rice from West Ham last summer, but it was the Gunners who secured his signature in a deal worth £100 million. When it was pointed out to him that he could well have been playing alongside Rodri rather than battling Man City for the title, Bryce told The Athletic, I know. But this project seemed more exciting, and that's why I chose to come to Arsenal. Because I believe we are on to big things here. It's speculated that Arsenal's most versatile defenders and one of the best in Vitors in the modern game is up for grabs at the end of this current season. Arsenal's number 35 is already attracting interest from clubs at home and abroad. He has emerged as a summer option for Newcastle and Bayern Munich. Arsenal are believed to be demanding £39 million for the 27-year-old fullback, who has only two years left in his contract. Arsenal supporters have voted Kai Havertz as the Men's Player of the Month for the month of April. The Arsenal midfielder pulled 43% of the ballot to itch out teammates likely Andro Trissard, Martin Odegaard and Ben White to collect his second club accolade of the season. Since the turn of the year, Havertz was in the thick of the goals for Arsenal, scoring for times. Thanks for watching. Kindly like, share, and subscribe.